In the second series of Ninja Level Shortcut Keys, let me focus on shortcut keys which are more usable when you're working with formulas. To start with, I will be talking about F2, function key F2. In case you are writing any formula, let's say some formula, and you selected certain cells. Now, when you choose a particular cell, often you would want to double click and see what's inside it. Well, you can press function key F2 to be able to see what's inside it through the entire formula parameters. So this was function key F2. Apart from this, if you want to repeat your last action in terms of formatting, for example, my last action was coloring a cell yellow. And if I choose another cell and press function key F4, notice it repeats my last action. Now F4 function key is also used to select a particular cell and freeze it using the dollars component. So if I keep on pressing F4 at this moment, notice the dollar is appearing with multiple different combination. Now this has been discussed in detail when we will be talking about cell referencing. So that was function key F4 to repeat your last action and also F4 to put dollars inside the formula to be discussed later. Apart from this, let me take you to the sample data one case study. Here you have a series of formulas thrown across talking about sales, talking about cost, the average cost, profit, etc. If ever you get some file like this, which has so many calculations thrown across, you initiate your work by doing what? You double click and see what's inside it, correct? Well, if you press this shortcut key, notice control and back tick key. The back tick key is the one which is the lower character of the above two. So the first one is called till, the second one is called back tick key. If I press control and back tick key, in one single glance, I get to see all the formulas on my screen. And the major advantage is, if you select any one cell, the colored borders, as you can see from the red and the blue color, the colored border also navigate along with it. So that helps you find out what are the origins of this formula. If I press the same shortcut key, control, back tick key, it takes me back to normal view. But from this, if I wish to find out what is the origin of a particular cell and let my cursor reach that level physically. So for example, this green cell, which you are noticing on my screen right now is referring to a cell from the sheet 002. So if I go to the green cell and then I'm going to press a short key, control third bracket open. Let me write this for your convenience here. Control third bracket open. So once I choose a green cell, I press control third bracket open. It physically takes my cursor to this cell of sheet number 002. Now the question is, how do I go back? especially when you are working with different worksheets with a good amount of numbers in it, high complexity level. Then after coming back to this origin, press F5 and blindly press enter thereafter. It takes you back. In fact, if you want to try this with a different cell, which I interconnected with a different sheet, let's try this equal to, and I'm putting a formula which points to the cell enter. Now this particular cell is actually coming from a different sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control third bracket open. It takes me to the origin when I press F5 and I press enter blindly. It takes me back where I started from. So that was a shortcut key to help you navigate between different worksheets. Apart from this, what are the other shortcut keys? Well, alt equal to if you have a series of numbers, one of the most commonly used formula is the sum formula. So if they are continuously placed one after another, if you go to the last cell, which appears to be blank right now, and if I press Alt equal to, it quickly catches up all the number and puts the sum formula, after which you just need to press enter. The only catch is in case by any chance there are blanks within the series of numbers, then Alt equal to will not be able to capture the entire portion in which case you'll have to go to the first cell, shift control down and shift down to be able to choose that selection and then press enter. Next, any formula that we'll be working with in the video series that are about to be shown to you, we'll be using a couple of techniques to help you navigate with the formula parameters quickly. For example, if I write equal to VL, notice the parameter drop down says VLOOKUP already. I just need to press the tab key to auto complete this. Apart from this, if you intend to apply some ifs, so I write equal to sum, but there are a couple of formulas starting with the word sum. So I use the down arrow key to go to sum ifs, and then I press the tab key. Now the question is, I want to see the different parameters in function argument box, to which a lot of people click on this FX button, right? This FX button, 
Well, I want a shortcut key instead of clicking on this FX button directly. So let me write equal to some ifs. As soon as I press the tab key, the bracket or a parenthesis is opened up. Now let me press control A. It then allows me to see what are the different function argument box. Now notice as I press tab key and tab and tab, it quickly opens other boxes. If I want to move upwards, then shift tab, shift tab, shift tab. And as you can see the movement of the cursor, defining how shift tab and tab directs the position of the cursor. Let's assume that you have written a basic formula, which involves summation of a couple of numbers and you have closed the bracket and pressed enter. Now, once a formula is written, you want to go back to the same view function argument approach where you can see the different parameters put in. So either you select the cell, click on FX or else you keep the cell selected and press shift F3. I'm going to press shift F3. There you go. This will take you directly to the function argument box. And that's where you see the different parameters and input. So do practice this because these are shortcut keys that I'll be using in my sessions. And I want you to use this while you're working on different files at your office.